So welcome to the mother toolbox or the toolbox of toolboxes or really just one of the best all-in-one toolboxes I've ever seen for the Fire Stick or really any of these Android devices. Now, what does the toolbox do? Well, just imagine that the Fire TV we can see in the background is your friend's device and your friend lives in another state or even in another country. Now your friend phones you and he's asking you, how can I uninstall an application from my device? I need some help, can you please help me? So what can we do to help him? Well, if I go over to my computer, I ask him to give me his internet IP, which I paste that in. I then enter in a port number. I then click on connect. And within a couple of seconds, my device on the internet has now made a connection to his second generation Fire TV Cube. So now, for example, I can select his device over here. I can see all of the applications he's had installed. I can push an APK from my computer through the internet onto his device. But the real cherry on the cake is I can go over here. I can select his device in the list. I can click on remote control. And within a couple of seconds, what do I see? I can now see his Fire TV screen on my computer. So without doing any kind of manual typing or manual configuration, just one click, not only can I see his screen, I now have full control of his device. So as you can see, when I move my cursor, the cursor on his screen moves. So I can tell him now that all he has to do is go into settings, go across to applications. I can click on that for him. I can go down to his managed install applications and tell him that if he wants to uninstall this application here, uh, just click on that for him, scroll down, click on uninstall, click on uninstall again, and just like that, from the internet, I've taken control of his device and actually uninstalled a program for him. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg, guys, because this all-in-one toolbox really does have some amazing features. In this video today, let me show you how you can get this toolbox on your device then I'll take you through the setup procedure and how you can use this all-in-one toolbox to fully manage and support your friends, family, and even customers. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android, and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get the toolbox on your device, we just need to download two files from our website directly onto your computer. So if you just navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, once you get there, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can manage all of your devices using this new amazing toolbox. So let's open that up. Here we see the main benefits. So no manual typing, you get full remote control. You don't need to install anything on the target device. And of course, no root is required. Here we have the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can find the IP address and enable ADB debugging. And just under that, we should have the two files that we need. So this is the flaky ADB GUI tool. And under that is the SCR CPY, the screen copy tools. So his tool basically creates the front end, allows you to run all of those ADB commands just by clicking on them. And then it also utilizes this tool to actually do the remote control. So let's download both these now. And here is a folder here, which has both those files extracted. Let's open that up. And the only thing we need to open up is the flaky ADB GUI tool. So let's open that up. And let me just say a massive thanks to Flaky, who's actually the person who developed this tool. So when I saw this application on his website, I was just blown away. So I did check with him that it's okay for me to share it and he's happy with that. So once again, many thanks to him for developing this amazing tool. Now, when you first start the application, there are some things that you have to configure for the very first time, but you can actually save those settings in a configuration file. You can basically save those profiles so whenever you need to connect to any of those devices, you can open the profile and then with one click, fully manage that device. So the first thing we have to do is we have to locate ADB, which is included. So I can click on that. And in the same folder, we can see I've got ADB there. Let's click on OK or open. The next thing we need to do is locate the SCR CPY, the screen copy. So let's click on that again. That's also in the same folder. Now, the only two things we need now is just the IP of the device you want to manage and also the remote port. Now, in the first part of the demonstration, I'm going to show you if you're doing this inside your home network. So 
the various Fire Sticks or Android TV devices I have in my house, if I want to use this toolbox to manage those, how do I do that? So let's say for example, in this demonstration, I want to manage my Chromecast with Google TV. Uh, so let's jump over to that device now. And here we are on that device. And I can just confirm that the device's IP address is 192.168.0.102. Let's go back to the toolbox. I can now type that in here. Now the remote port for ADB is always 5555 when you are doing this in your internal network. Let me just type in 5555. I can now click on connect to ADB device. Now if I quickly jump over to my Chromecast, we can see there guys, we're now getting the prompt because I've never made an ADB connection from my computer to the Chromecast, which is why we're seeing this. So I should now click on always allow. Click on allow again. Let's go back to the toolbox. We can see at the moment it's saying unauthorized, but if I click on connect again, we can see now it just says device, which means I now have made a full connection. So now for example, I can click on list third party APKs, select my device again, click on run command, and we now get to see all of the applications running on my Chromecast. Here, for example, we can see I've got the Aurora store, I've got file linked. I can also push an application or push an APK from my PC to the target device. So if I now click on install an APK, it asks me what application you want to install. Let's click on that. And in this example, let's click on Fitzy TV. But of course, you can use any application that you like. Click on open, select the device again, and click on run command. And this should now do an ADB push from my computer, push the APK, and we get the message there that's now installed. And in fact, if I jump back over to my uh, Chromecast, and go to apps, see all apps, and do we see, and there it is guys. So that was just installed right now using this all-in-one toolbox. So do give a thumbs up for that. And let's go back to the toolbox. So we can install applications, we can list applications already installed, we can reboot the device, and we can even update applications. Now the key part of this whole toolbox is that remote control feature. So here, for example, we can see some of the parameters for that remote control session. So for example, you can increase the resolution, but I personally like to leave it on 640. And here you can also increase the video bitrate. But personally, because I wanna have the best performance, I always just leave this as two meg. So do that, select the device again, click on remote control, and within a couple of seconds, I should now see my Chromecast screen. And as the key thing is guys, it's not just about watching the screen. I can now use my mouse. A right click basically means go back. I can click on things. Uh, I can go to display and sound, check my settings. I can go to applications. I can click on the app, click on uninstall. And just like that guys, we now have full control of our device from this toolbox. I can leave this over to one side. And again, let's say for example, I want to reboot the device because it's running a bit slow or something else. I can click on reboot device, select the device again. And what happens to the device? And that's now restarted. So full control of your Android device, whether that's Chromecast, Google TV, your Nvidia Shield, and of course, all of your Amazon devices, including your second generation Fire TVs and the newer Fire Stick Lights can all be managed from this single toolbox. Now, the other thing you can do with this toolbox is actually save those configuration files. So now that I've got all of my settings, the correct IP, the correct port, I can now go to file, save the settings file, and just call this my uh, Chromecast Google TV, click on save. I can now close this down. So now when I open up the toolbox again, and I think that, oh, I want to manage my Chromecast. I can just go to file, go to open settings, click on the Chromecast, click on open, and all of those settings are now ready for me to use. So again, I can click on connect, go over here, click on the device again, click on remote control, and we're back on the device and I can again, fully control that. And if we now jump over to my Fire Stick, again, we can confirm what the current IP address is. We can see that ends in .92. Let's go back to the toolbox. I can now go back here, type in 92, click on connect, and we can see I now have two successful ADB connections from my computer to my Fire Stick and my Chromecast device. So again, for example, if I want to install an application to my Fire Stick, I click on install APK, choose the APK I want to install. And now we have two devices to select. So I'm gonna select the one that ends in 
which is the fire stick. Click on run command. Let's jump back onto the fire stick. And do we see Fitzy in the list? Yes, we do. So whether you are using an Amazon device or an Android TV device, you can use this toolbox to push applications, to restart and even remote control. So if I go back to the toolbox, choose my fire stick over here, click on remote control. And do we see the fire stick? Yes, we do guys. We are inside the fire stick screen. And of course, now if I do a right click, which simulates me going back, I have full control of my fire stick. I can go to home. I can go to search. I can type in, uh, I don't know, typing just to show you that I am actually setting those keystrokes from my computer directly to the fire stick. So that's the first part of the tutorial where you can use this toolbox to manage all of those Android devices on your home network and we can push applications, we can restart them and of course fully remote control them. Now the next part of the video which I'm actually going to save for part two is going to cover the more complex procedure on how you can actually take control or manage devices through the internet. Now, because that procedure requires you making changes on your friends or your customer's router, it is a little bit more complex. And as this video has already gone quite long, I'm gonna save that for part two. I think most of you will just be happy that you can use this toolbox and manage all of the different devices in your house. But for the people that want to manage other people's devices, do look out for part two. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If any of you are still with me in the video, then if you leave the comment below, flaky wins, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see part two of this video, make sure you are subscribed. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.